Have you ever wondered when humans first set foot in North America? For a long time it was widely accepted that our ancestors crossed the Bering Strait from Asia, stepping into this vast, unknown continent less than 15,000 years ago. But what if we told you that this timeline might need a radical revision? Enter the Karuti Mastodon site. Nestled near San Diego, this archaeological treasure trove might hold the key to a revolutionary discovery. Here, scientists unearthed a collection of mastodon bones and stone tools. Intriguingly, these ancient remains bear signs of human activity. The fractures and markings on the bones, the researchers argue, couldn't possibly be the result of natural forces or carnivores. They point to deliberate human action. So, what could this mean? If validated, it could shatter our understanding of early human migration, pushing the timeline of human habitation in North America back by a staggering 115,000 years. Can we dare to imagine human habitation in North America as far back as 130,000 years ago? But before we get into the rest of this video, we want to take a quick second to tell you about our special limited time offer. We are giving away free copies of our newest critically acclaimed book, 13 Black Scholars Who Admitted There Were Black People in the Americas Before Columbus. This exclusive offer is our way of saying thank you for your incredible support and sticking with us on our knowledge-filled journey into true ancient American history. Dive deep into history with us and uncover truths that challenge what we've been taught. But hurry, this offer won't last forever. Click the link in the description and grab your free copy. Now let's get back to the video. Hidden beneath the ground near San Diego lies a puzzle that has baffled the scientific community. A recent exploration unearthed an intriguing find, a collection of mastodon bones and stone tools at the Cerruti Mastodon site. These aren't just any old bones and rocks. The mastodon bones bear markings and fractures that tell a fascinating story. But what could have caused such unique patterns on the bones? Researchers turned their attention to modern elephant bones in Tanzania, Upon comparison they found a striking similarity in the way these bones were fractured. This led them to a hypothesis that could rewrite history. These fractures were not the result of natural forces or carnivorous activity, but rather, the deliberate work of human hands. According to the researchers, the mastodon bones show clear signs of human activity. They argue that early humans may have used large stones found at the site as hammers and anvils, perhaps to extract bone marrow or to craft tools from the bones themselves. If this hypothesis holds true, it would mean that humans were present in North America as far back as 130,000 years ago, a timeline that significantly predates what we've previously accepted. This discovery could revolutionize our understanding of early human migration and settlement. Could these stones and bones be the evidence of the earliest known humans in North America? This question marks the beginning of a new chapter in the quest to unravel the mysteries of our ancient past. Not all mysteries are easily accepted. The Karuti Mastodon discovery is no exception. This groundbreaking theory has stirred up a whirlwind of skepticism within the scientific community. Critics argue that the evidence presented does not definitively prove human activity. They suggest that natural processes could also be responsible for the observed state of the mastodon bones and stones. This skepticism underscores the need for more rigorous proof when making claims that could significantly alter our understanding of human prehistory. But let's not forget the profound implications of this discovery. If validated, it would not only revolutionize our understanding of early human migration, but also force us to question which human species might have first set foot in North America. Given that modern humans are not believed to have left Africa until about 50 to 80,000 years ago, who then were these early inhabitants? What did they look like? Such a possibility broadens our perspective on the adaptability and migratory patterns of ancient humans, pushing us to reconsider much of what we thought we knew about the peopling of the New World. This discovery invites further research and debate within the scientific community. It highlights the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of archaeological science, reminding us that the story of our past is far from complete. One thing is certain. This discovery has opened up a Pandora's box of questions, pushing us to reconsider our understanding of human history. Trust us when we say, this journey through America's hidden black past is just beginning. If this glimpse into a world lost to time has captured your imagination, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more adventures into the unknown. Lastly, for more information about the names and subjects mentioned in this video, get your copy of the Amazon best-selling book series. 19 white men who admitted there were indigenous black people in the Americas, 
and 13 black scholars who admitted there were black people in the Americas before Columbus by Chase McGee. Link in the description. Stay curious and keep exploring.